Changes will be made in the upcoming school year to protect your children. They've been prompted by the arrest of 13 Clark County School District employees over the past school year on allegations of sexual misconduct. 13 Action News reporter Gina Lazara explains the outcome of a district-wide meeting tonight. These are the mugshots of every CCSD employee that was accused of some form of sexual misconduct during the 2016-2017 school year. The union can protect the teachers, but we need somebody that's there that's protecting our kids that minute of that day. This woman, who we will not name to protect the victims, is the grandmother of not one, but two girls affected this past year. Court documents say one of the girls was asked by her science teacher what kind of underwear she had on underneath her leggings. The other one was actually touched. Her thigh was rubbed and squeezed by a substitute teacher. It's chilling scenarios like these. CCSD administrators are trying to avoid next school year. One case is one too many. In that attempt, CCSD is implementing a brand new policy dedicated to sexual misconduct. Much of it focused on how teachers and students can communicate with each other each other via social media. I'm sure there will be staff that think that we shouldn't limit that. Um, I think parents overwhelmingly think we should limit it. In the past, there were no written rules about this, so administrators are hopeful this could be a key element to stopping sexual misconduct in the future. They're finally making it very, very aware that this is happening to our children. If you could not attend tonight's meeting, there's still time for you to weigh in. Just head to our website, KTMV.com, and we'll have a link that brings you to CCSD's survey. Gina Lazara, 13 Action News. Another issue being drafted in the new policy, every single person who will have contact with children unsupervised will have a background check, fingerprints, and a badge. And that includes volunteers. 